Hello and welcome to the new video from City Inc Express. Today we're going to take a look at installing and using ICC profiles with Adobe InDesign CC or Creative Cloud. Now before this video I'm going to assume that you have already changed your printing preferences so you have the correct quality and paper options selected and you've also disabled the automatic printer profile. If you haven't done that yet then go ahead and watch one of our other videos for how to do that or you could follow the PDF instructions included with your profile. The profile itself will be sent to you either on a disk with your new printer, or it might have been sent by email if you have a custom profile created. So our profile is sat here on the desktop. Today we're using the Ricoh SG3110DN printer with City Ink Express paper. So to install the profile, we right click on it and select Install Profile. Now you'll notice no loading screen or egg timer comes up when we do that. It is an instant process. So as soon as we've clicked on install profile, we can move on to the next step, which is to open up InDesign. Now this process is slightly different to the other Creative Cloud uh, applications. So we'll go ahead and get started. So this we're going to go to File, Print Presets and click Define. And now we have the default print preset and no others. We can do this in two different ways and we'll go through both of them in this video. The first way would be to create a new preset, which we will give a name, we'll call it Rico Sublimation. And for this, we'll be using our example Rico printer today. Yours will be called something different, of course. And in the color management options here, we'll click on that. For the color handling, we want InDesign to determine the colors which are going to be sent to the printer. And the printer profile will be the Rico profile that we've just installed. We click OK there. Then that is all set up. And so when we go to print something, we can just select the Rico sublimation print preset from the drop down menu on the print dialog and that will select all the correct options for us. The other way to do it is to change the default print preset. So if we go ahead and select that and select edit, then the downside to this is we can't change it from the default printer unfortunately, but we can go ahead and set the correct color management options. So under color management here, we let InDesign determine the colors again and our printer profile will be the Rico printer profile that we've already installed. We click OK there and OK there. So again, because there are two different ways to do that, you don't need to do both of those. Just pick your favorite and we'll uh, move on. So now we'll just open any new file. You don't need to do this bit. This is just to demonstrate what's gone on there. So now if we come to file and print, you can see the default print preset is selected as default every time. There's no way to change that. The downside to this is it's using our default printer, which in this case is our sales printer, but we really want to be using the example Rico printer. So we can select example Rico printer there and it's correctly chosen the printer profile. So the other way is to select our Rico sublimation preset from the top box and that will automatically choose the correct printer and the correct color profile options. We'll cancel that and have another look. So again, depending on which option you've chosen, when you come to print, you will either need to change the printer to the correct printer or change the print preset to the correct print preset. But that is the process finished. Those options are saved, so we don't need to set those up again. And that is how you install and use ICC printer profiles with Adobe InDesign CC. Thank you very much.